The McKinney-Vento Homeless Assistance Act of 1987 is a federal law that provides federal money to assist homeless shelter programs and families. The act ensures that children and youth experiencing homelessness have full and equal access to an appropriate public education and experience. In this episode of Engage Chesterfield, we will be talking with Lisa Symes, McKinney-Vento Support Specialist with the CCPS Department of Student Support Services to share information about the act and service provided to some of our Chesterfield County families. Welcome, Lisa. Thank you, Amy. I'm happy to be here. Well, thanks for coming. Could sure. you give me a brief overview of, of what McKinney-Vento does and, and, and why it was put into place? Sure. So the McKinney-Vento Homeless Assistance Act is a federal law that protects the rights of students experiencing homelessness. It was enacted over 30 years ago, signed into law by then President Ronald Reagan, and it's named after the two congressmen who helped draft the legislation, Stuart McKinney, who was a Republican from Connecticut, and Bruce Vento, a Democrat from Minnesota. Um, back in 1987, when the McKinney-Vento Act was created, there were approximately 500,000 students experiencing homelessness in the United States of which almost half, about 43%, were not enrolled in school due to issues with residency requirements, transportation, documentation. So in a nutshell, what the McKinney-Vento Act did was remove the barriers that would prevent students experiencing homelessness from being enrolled in, attending, and having full and equal opportunity to succeed in school. Well, that certainly sounds important. So what did the services look like then that are provided in order to remove those barriers? Sure, so uh, the services that we provide is every student registered under the McKinney-Vento Act would automatically qualify for free school meals. Um, they would have access to school supplies and if needed, tutoring services at their school. Um, they would also be eligible for waivers of all school-related fees. And probably our biggest service that we provide is transportation. Um, the cornerstone of the McKinney-Vento Act is school stability. Uh, each time a student moves, it can take four to six months to catch up academically. So under the McKinney-Vento Act, a student is able to stay at their school of origin for the duration of homelessness or until the end of the school year in which they become permanently housed and we would be responsible for providing transportation. Last year, we were able to accommodate over 500 McKinney-Vento transportation requests. Wow, so in order for a child to be eligible for this, our family, it says for families experiencing homelessness, what does that mean? Sure, so the definition of homeless under the McKinney-Vento Act is lacking a fixed, regular, and adequate nighttime residence. Can the student go to the same place every night to sleep in a safe and sufficient space? And this definition covers a broad range of living situations that you might not typically think of as homeless situations. For example, students that are sharing the housing of others due to loss of housing and economic, economic hardship or a similar reason. We refer to this as doubled up. And the majority of our McKinney-Vento students here in Chesterfield are staying in doubled up situations. It would also include students who are staying at a hotel or a trailer park or a campground due to a lack of adequate alternative accommodations. Also students who are staying in an emergency or transitional shelter or are students that are staying in unsheltered situations or living in substandard housing conditions would qualify under McKinney-Vento. And then it also includes a subgroup of students that the law refers to as unaccompanied homeless youth. And these are children and youth of any age who are not in the physical custody of a parent or legal guardian. They meet the definition of homeless under McKinney-Vento. And typically these are high school students who've been kicked out of their home or chosen to leave maybe abusive or dysfunctional situations or students who've been separated from their parent due to uh, parental incarceration, hospitalization, or even the death of a parent. So, I mean, when I look at the numbers last year, we served 895 uh, yes. students who were identified yes. as uh, being students living in homelessness. What did some of their services specifically look like? Again, it would we would make sure that all of our students are qualified for free and um, free meals at school, uh, the tutoring services, um, the uh, school supplies, 
our fee waivers for all of our McKinney Vento students and again our transportation. So that's almost an immediate fix without having to go through a lot of Yes. We want to we want to we want to provide school stability for our most vulnerable children. Um, the cornerstone of McKinney Vento is school stability. So if a student moves, um, it can take 4 to 6 months to catch up academically. So under McKinney Vento, they're able to stay in their same school um, even if they move out of the school zone or out of the school district and we would provide transportation. That is, is phenomenal what this can do for families that it's are going a through program. a tough time, students too. Um, so if I want to learn more about this, or let's say I may have a student or I may have a friend or, or I may be experiencing homelessness, um, how, how can I reach out and learn more? Sure. I would say to any family that is struggling with a housing crisis or um, going through a, a housing hardship, please don't hesitate to reach out to an administrator or a trusted person at your school who will then connect you with your student's school social worker. Uh, we have McKinney Vento packets available at every school in Chesterfield County. It would entail just a short registration form and our packets also contain a list of community resources that our families might find helpful. Thank you so much for coming and sharing about this and, and thank you for work that you do every day to, to really meet the needs of all of our kids and to kind of stand in that gap. And thank you for joining us on Engage Chesterfield.